Good afternoon, everyone. Heart is where the home is. Imagine that your father is admitted at a hospital for a heart surgery. Everything went well and everything is going fine. Nevertheless, he still needs to be monitored. And this monitoring is there for several days without your father actually needing medical attention. How frustrating is it for him that he has to stay in the hospital just for being watched? For me as a caregiver, this is frustrating as well. I know your father is better off at home. Besides, I know your daughter might need his bed more and is more in need of medical attention. How convenient would it be if we could transfer this hospital care to a home situation, just as safe and reliable as it would be in a hospital. My name is Martijn van Moudik, and I work at the AMC Heart Center as a technical physician. Last year, we started exploring possibilities to make this possible. With our multidisciplinary team approach, consisting of technical physicians, cardiologists, and other professionals, we explored technological components to enable us to do this. First, we need a reliable sensor able to measure real-time, continuous data and multiple variables such as the heart rate, respiration and activity. This data needs to be transferred in a safe way and reliable to a privacy secured storage. As last, we need smart algorithms to analyze this data, to pick up which patients are really doing well and which ones might need our attention and we need to have a closer look at. Telemonitoring itself is not unique, but the way we want to implement it is. And it is because we are aiming to replace part of the hospital healthcare to a home situation instead of making additional care. And this has some benefits. The first benefit is patient comfort. By putting the patient at his own home, his safe, comfortable environment, surrounded by family and friends, we think this enhances patient's well-being. Furthermore, we expose the patient less to the risks of a hospital admission. Hospital-associated complications, such as infections, are important. Besides, the patient can pick up his daily life activities much faster than he would be doing that in our hospital. Another point is that we want to make healthcare efficient by freeing up beds for patients who really need it. These beds can be used by our elderly population, for example, because we are facing an aging society and there's a growing demand for hospital care. This year's theme is big questions and we want to take big steps. And we have those big questions. To make this from an idea to reality, we need your help. Alone we cannot do this. We need your expertise in several fields, such as the legal and ethical aspects, technological development, but also to refine our business model, to make this from an ID to an implementation in our Dutch healthcare system. Our aim of this solution is to increase healthcare quality, to enhance healthcare efficiency, and very important, to improve patient comfort. Because doesn't your father deserve this? And don't we all and our friends deserve this uh, to be implemented and make it possible to deliver the care at the right way? Technology is already there. So let's make it happen and start today. Thank you.